Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has infinite mercies and beauties and grandeur and powers. They're infinite. And one of them is forgiveness. Another one is pardoning, erasing. Another one is acceptance of tawbah. He is a tawbah. And there are many more like this. Many more attributes. Who does he spend those on? The angels? In fact, it is a hadith that says, if you did not slip, you did not sin, you did not worship Allah, you did not go back to him and make tawbah, Allah would erase you, create something else that would sin, that would slip, that would go back and repent and ask Allah to forgive you. That is the very purpose of creation of man. That he turned back to Allah. Everything that is created by Allah, its purpose is ibadah. Everything. But their worship is different. Our worship is Tawbah, is constantly checking. Every son of Adam will slip into his desires, will slip into these wrong things and commit crimes. So what I'm trying to say is first and foremost, to defeat Shaitan at his own game, his biggest plot against you and I. Shaitan's biggest game against us is to make us turn against Allah. Not commit crimes and those things, that comes sec that's, that's small things to him. But to actually despair and to actually loathe and hate ourselves and think, I am filthy, my sins are great, I am the worst thing in the world. When Shaitan does these things, you remember the purpose that we're created for, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us this way, so we will turn to His maghfirah, to His mercy, to His forgiveness, to His guidance. Allah Azza wa Jal created us for this very purpose. He has malaika, countless number of malaika that serve Him, obey Him. He has creatures and creations everywhere worshipping Him perfectly. As we said, inna alhamdulillah. He has praised without us. Allah is not in need of us. He created you and I for the purpose of needing to turn back. And Allah says in the Quran, Allah. Run, don't walk, don't think about it. Flee back, even now while I'm speaking. Don't be shy in your heart and in your mind to remember those sins that have harmed you, the black spots in your heart, dig them out and talk about them to your Lord. In your thoughts even, run back, flee back to Allah. Come back to your Lord. The purpose of a believer's life, once he comes to Islam, is that now he must constantly, consistently, forever, constantly go back to Allah, turning back to Salah, turning back to Dua, turning back to Allah Azza wa Jal. That is the purpose of the believer as an individual. I'm not talking about a collective. There are many purposes. But as you and I, as individuals, what is your purpose as a Muslim? Do you need to wait for a Khalifa to tell you? Do you need an Islamic utopia? Do you need to be living in a masjid? No. Wherever you are, Kullu ibn Adam al-Khattab. Every son of Adam slips in sins and his job and his role is worship. For the worship of Allah you were created and that is within the ta'a, the obedience where you slip, you constantly repent. Oh.